Hey, welcome back to Tech Shinji. So, in the video you saw recently, we were working on this Dan Case A4 build. And we got that 92 millimeter AIO in there. We got everything in here. And uh, now we're gonna plug this in and see if it posts because bad juju, I put the covers on before I checked to see if this would post. So, let's get plugged everything in. Everything's plugged in, installed. Let's see if it posts. I hear fans. Okay, I hear the classic high pitch whine of a pump. Oh, thank God it posted. Thank God. Oh, thank God. That was really quick. So this is a fresh install SSD. We did put that on there prior to putting in this case. I think updates are already done too. So we're just gonna go right into Cinebench here. And we're also gonna get hardware info running as well. That way we can monitor our hotbox temperatures. This is a live view of the power usage of the computer. We're drawing about 210 watts on Cinebench and this is running all 32 cores. And we're currently, you know, around 80 degrees or so. But yeah, this, it's only drawing about 210 watts, which is pretty efficient for a 32, uh, 32 thread uh, 3950X. Uh, That's pretty, pretty dang good. So yep, we just finished on the first pass. We're dropping right down to about 50, 57 at idle. Not bad. I mean, I'm gonna hold my mic next to this thing. We programmed the fans to spin at maximum speed and, and I'm being real quiet here. I got my mic on my chest right here, right next to it can't really hear it, can you? It's pretty quiet. It's a nice white noise, like a background white noise. So we're gonna let this run for a couple of minutes and we're going to check this in just a moment. All right, guys, so we've been running for about a good five minutes or so now. And you can see we are getting some spikes that are kind of high, but we are not currently thermal throttling. Average is about 84 degrees, or average is about 80 degrees. The spike of the high was 93 degrees. That's, that's actually really impressive for being a 92 millimeter AIO in this tiny little box. I'm putting my hand against the sides here and yeah, it, it's like a little heater. And it is able to dissipate that heat on Cinebench. It's running stably, it hasn't crashed at all. But what does it take to make this thing crash? Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see how far we can push this thing. So I'm opening up PowerMax from CPU ID. Uh, I'm gonna put this on AVX. We'll only do one minute because I don't know how unstable this thing is gonna be. It might immediately spike. So uh, let's take a look here. We got the t current temperature is 53 degrees. We're drawing about 95 watts, 80, you know, bouncing around. I'm gonna start the AVX on CPU uh, PowerMax here. See what happens. All right, 140 watts. 190 watts and looks like we're holding steady 190 watts and current temperature is about 65 degrees and this is actually taking a little bit less power than Cinebench that's pretty impressive total wattage out of the CPU is 114 watts wattage at the wall is 192 so it looks like this torture test is just fine Not, nothing crazy is going on so we're gonna go ahead and stop that now this does have a 3080 Ti Founders Edition. So let's see how that works. Remember, part of that card is totally choked off. So we're gonna put this to maximum resolution and put out one minute run and hit start. And we're taking 475 watts at the wall. Yep, it's climbing 70 degrees on the GPU core, 88 degrees on the, the memory junction. Yeah, I could definitely hear it spooling up there. It's getting, it's getting a little louder. 1700 RPM, still 473, 480 watts at the wall. Actually, this isn't doing too bad. I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, the memory junction temp's getting up there. It's getting kind of hot. But 476 watts at the wall, which is all GPU, guys. So let's see what happens uh, when we do both the CPU torture test and the GPU torture test at the same time. And let's you know, be mean to it, run it for five minutes. So we're gonna start the CPU, start the GPU at the same time. GPU is currently at 75 degrees and climbing. 
The CPU is at a nice 66 degrees and climbing. And we're still pulling 560 watts constantly. Oh yeah, the GPU is starting to climb up there. We're at 78 degrees on the GPU, 79. Memory junction temperature is at 110, 102. Yep, so choking off that card is starting to show. We're at 80 degrees on the GPU. And you can probably hear on my microphone, this, uh, you can hear the GPU starting to ramp up. I can actually feel this, it's pretty hot. It feels like a little heater, all this heat waves going up on, on my face here. And you can actually hear the fan of the GPU starting to ramp up. It's actually getting kind of loud. It's getting real loud. You know what makes this a little bit more fun? Let's get some thermal imagery on this thing. We got our thermal camera out. This is the FLIR E96. And you can see the inside, all how hot it's getting right on the side here. And you can see we're looking right inside the machine through the side panel. You can see the power supply fan spinning up like that. And you can see how hot it's getting around the motherboard, the VRMs. In fact, that's registering as around 60 degrees, almost 70 degrees. That's really, really hot. Looking at the top of the machine here, oh yeah, that's registering some extreme heat right there. And again, we are running the torture test. We are pulling around 500 watts at the wall. Let's take a look at the back of the machine here. The exhaust port on the graphics card registering in the high 70 degrees Celsius. Thing is hot. I'm like about a foot away from the card right now and I can feel the heat just blasting out of this thing. All right, so we're gonna go over to the other side here. And it looks like the test is over. It just finished. Everything's spooling down. We can see the fan right here. This one is actually blowing on the memory and like a blower card is blowing out. This one right here is the one I'm concerned about because you can see it's on the inside of the machine and it's choked up against it. So it's really not that much cooler right here, which makes sense. And it's blowing all the heat up, down, right, left against the back of it. So yeah, that's some thermography of the machine. And we can really see like what gets hot on this thing and what doesn't. Well, we finally built it, we finally tested it and guess what? It works and it can handle it just fine. At no point did it actually thermal throttle to where it was stopping anything. We did hit some high peaks, some high temps, but everything was fine, everything worked, and it did pull up to 560 watts on the power reading directly out of the wall. We have a power meter right there. So yeah, a 92 millimeter AIO on a 3950X. It is running stock, that's full disclosure. The room is currently about 70 degrees, so that is also full disclosure. It is kind of cool in here. Um, this is definitely a nice little heater though. I could definitely put my hand over this. It feels great. So thanks for joining us guys in this video, watching this journey of building this tiny little powerhouse. Um, if you like videos like this, make sure you get subscribed and check out our other videos, such as our Kingpin unboxing. That was a lot of fun. We also do a bunch of water cooling stuff. So come out and check out our other videos. See you guys in the next one. Bye.